Ini-start ko na ng stream ha. Okay, we're... We're raining. Wait. Wait. Hello, Ma'am Jen. We're live. Hey, sir. Oh, oh. Ano yung pita ko naman? Good afternoon, grade 4. Your wait, wait muna tayo sa iba, ha? So, magpatugtog muna tayo ng music habang naghihintay. Oo. Oh.
shout out kay Cardet uh, Ogasco, Carl Ronzo, Cyrus Ramos, Benedict Zian, Aina Midabon, and John Eisen Bocuela. Mga naunang sampo. Nasaan na kaya yung iba? Ha, ah, 12 na sila. Ayan, bago. Si John Angelo Buencamin. So, i-discuss, i-discuss natin yung hindi natin na-discuss during the lesson natin. Kanino ba ako? Okay, Erich Clear and Nico Samatra. Artea Torino welcomes sa ating online tutorial. Sebastian Makapagal. Sino na sa harapan mo, bunga? Pamit lang ba yung open? Ano ba 'to? Ito na lang. Oo, ba ako, Mike? Oo. Okay. Okay, nga wa, meron na tayong 16 na mga nanonood na mga bata. Comment nga one kung narinig si teacher. Kasama ba ako? Ah, yan. 18 na. Oh, salamat, Sneaky Ginja. Ay, Ramida Boy. Nigel. Kyle Noah. M. Mark. Cyrus Ramos. Benedict. Sebastian. Carl Ronjo. Angelo. Kyle Noah. Miko Samatra. Eric Claire. Sebastian Ole, Eric Claire Ole, okay. Benedict, Namat, ba itin na? Ay, ang iba. Siguro kahit ano, maka-25 lang muna. Then we will start. Francesca Libuna, welcome. Carl Zepri. Yan, 17 na. Saan na iba? At maka-25. Then you will start. Christian Noor, oh, di ba? 19 na agad. Lord Sander. Lord Sander pa na niya. Okay, yes ka na. Ano nyo? Nagdagdagan na. Mga, mga nakikinig sa atin, nanunood. Maraming salamat sa mga dumating. Lalong-lalo na doon sa mga kanina pa. Ah, mag-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i
Masalamatan nyo sila dahil pinapayagan nila kayong mag manood ng ating online tutorial. So, naging 20 na tayo. Lima na lang. Then we will start. Siguro mga 1.15. 25 na tayo. Kasi sayang din naman kung unti lang tayo, di ba? Okay, sige. Ako ay nanay sa inyong lahat. Kahit wala pang anak si teacher. <laughs> Salamat sa pagbati, Erich Claire. Salamat, Ethan. O, oh, lima na lang. Wait natin, ha? Sabihan niyo mga classmates niya na manood para madagdagan tayo at makapagsimula na tayo agad. Sinishare niyo ba? I-share niyo yung link na siya niya sa group chat natin. Happy Mother's Day din sa mga mama ninyo. Kung di dahil sa mga mama ninyo, wala kayo dito ngayon na nanonood sa akin. Gustong matuto. Oh, naging 18 uli. Ano nangyari? Na wala iba? Mga 25 lang tayo. Oh, 1.30 na. Nga, ah, di man na na. 20 na ulit tayo. Thank you, Juan. Apat na lang. Oh, ano nangyayari? So, last one minute, then we will start. Ayaw na yung ite. 16 na lang. 20. Saan kaya iba? Okay, 1.50. So, sige, let's start. Good afternoon, kids. Grade 4, Rosanians. Thank you for uh, tuning in sa ating live para sa ating online tutorial. So, for today, we will be discussing uh, the Module 9 of Quarter 3. So, differentiating perimeter from area and converting square meter or square centimeter to square meter or vice versa. Ngayon, simulan na tayo. Ayan pa ba ni teacher? Uh, this is lesson number one. So, siguro, papahapyawan na lang natin ito kasi I already discussed this during our classes last week. So, alam na natin ito. O, balikan lang natin ito. So, let's go back to the comparison chart between area and perimeter. So, when we say area, it is the measurement of the space inside the shape. It ano pa sa area, it is the number of square units inside the shape. On the other hand, yung perimeter, when we define it, its definition is it is the measurement of the distance around a shape. So, ibig sabihin, yung palibot niya. So, distance. So, one, point, one, one dimension quantity ito. Yung napanood niya sa video na pinakita ko sa inyo. One dimension quantity lang yung perimeter. Whereas, yung area, 
it needs uh, one by uh, parang dalawang dimension so that to have to be able to uh, compute for or calculate for the area. At ano pa? It is the distance around the outside. Samantalang yung area inside, yung perimeter is outside. Ang sinusukat natin sa area, yung loob, gaano kalakong space, meron sa loob niya. Ang diadahan yung perimeter, ang sinusukat natin ay yung palibot. If we will try to draw perimeter, to be able to visualize perimeter, diba? sabi doon, i-open niyo yung isang figure and then it will uh, turn into one straight line. So, yan, yung palibot lang. So, mga edges lang ang sinusukat natin. At ano pa yung, ano pa? When it comes to you, to the unit use, when we are uh, measuring area, we will be counting the square unit. We will be needing square unit. So, ang label dapat ng mga sagot natin ay mayroong square unit. So, paano yun? So, pwedeng isulat ng centimeter. Yung unit, meron pang square. So, ayan, o. Oh, ang basa dito ay square. Maliit lang na to sa tabi ng unit. It could be meter, square meter, square kilometer, square feet, may ganon. Square inches, oh, may ganon. Kung anong ginamit na unit, yun ang i-square mo. So, mamaya i-discuss ko sa inyo, ibig sabihin ng square. Then, on the other hand, yung perimeter naman, we only use the unit given. So, if it, if it uses centimeter, centimeter lang din ang unit ng sagot mo. Oh, ang label ng sagot mo. If it use uh, kilometer, kilometer lang din. If it use meter, meter lang din. Inches, inches lang din. Feet, feet lang din. So, saan-saan natin ginagamit ang area at perimeter? Kapag ka, if we are uh, covering the whole room with a carpet, gaano kalaking carpet ang lalagay natin? That is, uh, involving area kasi gaano kalaki. Susukatin yung loob, di ba? So, saan pa? Ilang tiles ang makukover? Ilang square? Di ba kadalasan nahugis ang tiles square? So, ilang square na tiles ma mailalagay natin sa isang bedroom, for example. Comfort room, for example. So, that is involving area. Ano pa? Kung gaano kalaki yung nanginis mo? That's area. Then, how big is the cover sheet of our bed sheet that you would be needing to a any size of bed? Diba? So, kailangan mong malaman, ano ba yung area ng bed na yan? So that I can give or I can buy uh, an exact bed sheet, bed sheet for it. Diba? What else? So, sa rubberized mat, ang nakakita na ba kayo ng rubberized mat? Yung may puzzle-puzzle na ganun. Naalala nyo? So, may rubberized mat. So, parang square-square lang din yun when it is, and it, if you will look close on its dimension, parang square lang din. Ilang rubberized mat ang ilalagay mo? So, that is involving area. Samantalang, yung, yung perimeter naman, when we talk about perimeter, ano -anong, sa ano-anong sitwasyon natin ginagamit ang perimeter? Ginagamit siya pagka nagbabakod ka. Halimbawa, magpuput up ka ng isang garden sa bahay ninyo. Gaano kalaki ang gagawin mong garden? So, ay, gaano kalaking gagawin mong bakod pala? So, when we say, gaano kalaking garden, that's area. So, pag bakod, gaano ka, raming bakod ang gagamitin mo? That's it. Perimeter. So, ano pa? Bawa ka, meron kayong project, meron kayong ilalagay na lace. So, gaano kahabang lace ang bibili mo to be able to cover up a curtain, for example. Ano pa? To walk around the quadrangle. Pag naglilibot tayo yung mga jogging-jogging, di ba? So, ito na yung diniscuss ko na sa inyo to eh. When we, if you can still recall the quadrangle in the Rosa, in, Ro, in our school, in Rosa Sasano, kapag nalibot nyo yun noon, kung nalibot nyo yun noon, o ibig sabihin, nalibot nyo na, o nakuha nyo na yung perimeter ng quadrangle ng school. Saan pa? To jog around a circle. When we say a circle, ang perimeter niya, hindi na perimeter yan. When we say around the perimeter, that's circumference na. Kaya lang, Dahil doon tayo sa edges, doon tayo sa labas, so that is also considered as perimeter, yung distance around ng mga Then, to put a barbed wire, parang fencing lang din yung barbed wire. So, if you, ha if you can think of other situation involving area or perimeter, isipin ninyo, 
ano pa yung hindi na big hindi na na mention that you could uh, possibly use area ano din yung uh, experiences niyo that you are possibly use perimeter meron na bang mga chances kayong naram na naranasan Diba? Ha? Ah, naka-21 na tayo. Salamat sa mga 21 na umatin. Ang manood sa atin para matuto ng lesson natin sa math last week. Okay. So, kung wala na, sige, let's, let's continue. So, answer na natin yung iba-ibang mga activity dito. So, So, if you are to solve this one, direction. Solve the perimeter of the following. Write your answers in your note. So, hindi na natin tutulat. Pag-usapan uh, pag na lang natin yun. So, to be able to get the perimeter, all you have to do is to add, di ba? So, this is a square. So, you can do both. So, this is 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3. So, this is 12. Di ba? 12CN. Hindi lang 12 lang. Dapat may CN pa. Kung ayaw nyo nang mag-add, dahil pare-pareho naman yung ina-add natin, you could use 4 times 3, which is equal to 12 also. So, di naman tayo sa rectangle. So, sige nga, kayo. Get the perimeter of the figure na ito, ng rectangle na ito. What is the perimeter? Mm -hmm. May mga sumagot na. Habi ni Ayla, 30 cm daw. Oh. Ano pa? May kaibahan pa. Meron pa nga kayo pwede idagdag dun sa comparison chart eh. Okay, tingnan nyo nga. So, di ba pag operation na ginagamit, balik tayo dun sa comparison chart. We can, we can still add some more here. So, mostly, most of the time, most of the time, we use uh, multiplication pagka area, di ba? Multiplication. Samantalang yung area, yung perimeter naman, pag perimeter, we can use addition or Multiplication if the number are the same, di ba? So, yun yung mga, yun pa yung dagdag, pwede natin idagdag dito sa ating comparison table. So, tingnan nga natin kung tama kayo. Sabi nung marami, 30 meters. 30 cm daw. May nakita pa akong cm eh. Ah, what? Oh, 30 cm daw? Kung ano yung ginamit na unit of measurement, yun ang gagamitin ninyo for your answer. So, ito oh. 10, 10, 5, M. Puro M. Ibig sabihin meter. So, you can do two ways. Diba? You can make it, you can solve the perimeter of this using two ways. So, pwedeng mag-add ka. 5 plus 10, 5 plus 10. Pwedeng in or any order. Sabi sa inyo, pwedeng nyo i-add yan in any order. So, this is 15. This is another 15. Therefore, the answer is 30. Meters. Meters ang ginamit na unit of measurement sa mga distance sa mga length ng bawat side. Kaya meter din ang sagot. So, pwede din namang 5 plus 10 times 2, di ba? 2 times 5, that would be 10. Plus 2 times 10. So, this is 10 plus 20 you will also get 30. And then for your final answer, write the label or the unit of measurement, which is 30 meters. So, yung P stands for letter, letter P stands for perimeter. Yung letter A naman stands for area. So, the area of the first figure is 12. Ah, sorry. Perimeter din pala. Din sorry naman. So, the perimeter of this one is, is 12 cm. So, on the other hand, mag-area naman tayo. So, how will you get the area of this one? So, this is a rectangle, kaya multiply mo lang ito dito. 
So, yung description dun sa pinakita ko sa inyong video, di ba? Hinati niya pa yung isa. Kasi, there should be how many unit, how many is one by one cm na mapitit in mo dito. So, hatiin natin ito sa, sa sampo. So, if we will be trying to divide this into five, decide muna. Another five para makaten tayo. So, dapat pare-pareho, ha? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, pagpasensyahan nyo na yung drawing ni teacher. So, dito naman, walo. Okay, I'm trying to do my best. Para... Oh. Pero kapag kailangan kasi may hula tayo. So, so, ayan na. To be able to just show you how to get the area. Ilang square na ganito ang mapitit in natin. So, depende sa sukat nila. So, we could have 8 times 10. So, yan yung pinakasimple. ba So, area of that figure is 8 times 10, which is 80. Yan. CM. Hindi lang CM lang. Square meter. Dahil ang binilang natin ay yung square unit. Ilang ganito ang meron dito sa figure na to. Ay, ang sagot dito ay 80 square centimeter. Ito naman, this is a square. So, paano ito ay multiply? So, hindi na ito kasa, kasama. Kasi, ganun din naman yan. You will be dividing this into 5. Ayusin natin ha. Para mas maintindihan nyo. Kahit, hindi siya bakit yung perimeter, lahat ina-add mo. Eh, syempre yung distance sa, kung ilang side, yun lang din ang ina-add. Para hatiin natin. Yan, 5. Lagi ito. So, hindi pa rin yan tapos. That may 5 din doon. Yung nakatayo. Diba? Hmm. Ilan yan? Ilang square ang nakuha natin? So, this is 5 and 5. So, ito lang naman bibilangin mo. Kaya 2 dimension na ang kailangan mo. So, to get the area of this square is to multiply side by the side. Oh, what is... 5 times 5, that is 25 is square, pwede yung sulat din ng ganyan, square meter. Ang ganyang ang gusto ninyo. So, ito, binibilang natin yung ilang square ang nabuo, kaya dalawang dimension na kailangan mo. So, wag mo nang intindihin to, wag mo nang intindihin to. Diba? Intindihan? So, we will be talking about uh, we will be talking a lot about area when we have, when we are already in fourth part. So, saan pa? So, ito, nagawa na natin to. Let's try some of the some of the activity there. Yan, ito yung gusto ko. So, gamit yung, yung tawag ito? Comparison chart. So, use the Venn diagram below to compare and contrast. When we say compare, Tingnan mo yung pagkakapareha at yung pagkaka, diba? So, pag kayo nasa loob, ito, yung nasa loob dito, that is uh, similarities. Yung area, ang, ang unique sa area, andito sa side na to. Ang unique sa perimeter, andito sa side na to. So, sige, saan sila magkaiba muna? So, when we say perimeter, yung definition niya, distance around, diba? Distance outside the polygon. Samantalang yung area naman, this is this time, ay, square units yan. Square units inside a polygon. So, ano pa? May naisip pa ba kayo? na unique sa perimeter lang at unique lang sa area. Sige, tingnan ko sa comment. Tingnan ko ang comment. Tingnan ko ang comment. Sige. Ah, pwede din, Janice. Yung inside yung perimeter, area sa outside, ay? Inside yung area. Sa outside yung perimeter. Sorry, hindi ko medyo naitindahan yung ano. Message. So, ano pa? Which is unique to both perimeter and area. 
Okay, wala naman bang iba? Kung wala nang iba, yung pagkakapareha naman nila. Yung pagkakapareha nila. Naiisip kayo? Ha? Ah, tiga, tiga, gamitin natin ito. Palitin ni teacher. So, number na lang lagay natin, ha? Dahil wala tayong may isa, dito tayo pupunta. So, number na lang inalagay natin. Pagkakapareha ba yun o pagkakaiba? Pagkakapareha na sa gitna. If that is for area alone, put it beside o doon sa nasa side, dito, dito. Sa perimeter. If that is for area alone, write it here. If that is for both area and perimeter, put it at the middle. Right? We will write it at the middle. So, it is a space or region occupied by a closed figure. Space or region occupied by a closed figure. Where do you think I will write number one description? Can somebody, number one is for perimeter ba? O area o both? Sa gitna. It is a space or region occupied by a closed figure. Ah, mayroon na. Ayla, sagutin mo na yung tanong ko. It is a space or region occupied by a closed figure. Saan natin yan? Sa perimeter lang ba? O area lang ba? O both? Hmm, Ayla, wait na. Isa-isa lang. Kasi mami, hindi mo yung makasunod lahat. Very good kung nakauna ka na. Okay. Lord Sander, sabi niya. Ah, si Nigel ang nakasagot. So, diniscribe pala ni so, Sander yung area. Si Ronjo din. Oh, wait natin yung iba. So, when we say region, space occupy, that is for area alone. Wait yan. Yung number one nasa area. How about number two? It is the distance around a closed figure. Saan yan? Perimeter ba yan? Area o both? It is the distance around a closed figure. Saan natin ilalagay yung number two? Number two, saan? Sa area? Distance around a closed figure. Distance around a closed figure. Okay, may nakita na akong dalawa. Okay, so tama. Si Angelo and Ronjo na una. So, the correct answer, saan natin ilalagay si number 2? Ito ay para sa perimeter. So, 2 is about perimeter. So, number three, it is, a, it is expressed in square units. Oh, ang unit of measurement na ginagamit ay square unit. Ano yun? Perimeter, area, o both? Measure or express in square units. Express in square units. Number three. Sana tayo. Number three na tayo. Three. Three na tayo. Saan natin ilalagay? It is expressed in square units. Square units. Yung may sagot na may square units. Okay, tama si Angelo. Angelo said, number three is for area. Tama. Number three, square units ang ginagamit. Area yan. Kasi ang binibilang natin sa area is square units. And number four, it is the sum of the length of the sides of a polygon. Sum, total sum, o yung total ng link of the sides of the polygon. Ano yun? Perimeter ba yan? Area o both? Perimeter ba yan? Area o both? Sabi ni Owen, both down. Nigel, sabi, area sa so number 3, tapos sa tayo sa 3, number 4 na tayo. Saan yung 4? Sa perimeter ba yan? O area? O both? Okay, si Angelo na naman. Sabi ni Angelo, perimeter. Tama, kasi di ba nag-add nag tayo kapag uh, sum. Ano bang ginagawa pag sum? Addition. So, when we add, that is perimeter. So, number four is under 
perimeter. How about 5? It is the number of square units that covers a space. Number of square units that cover a space. Number 5. Saan natin nalagay? Perimeter ba yan? Area or both? Okay, okay. Sabi ni Cyrus. Very good. Cyrus sa una, number 5. Number 5 daw ay area. Tingnan natin. Number of square units. Tama ka naman. Square units. When we say square units, that's area. This is 5. About 6. It involves measurements. It involves measurement. Number 6. Number 6 tayo. 6. Ano? 6. Ganyan. It involves measurement. Saan yan? Is it perimeter, area, or both? Okay, si Angelo na naman. Number is talaga ni Angelo. Si Angelo, sabi niya both. Tama, both yan. It involves measurement. So, pagsukat yan, di ba? So, that's number six is under both. Okay, how about it measures shapes? Sinusukat nito ang mga shape. Oh, ano yan? Okay, number six. Tama naman kayo. Seven na. Ah, sabi ni Carl Ronjo, 6, 7, 8 ay both. Tinan na natin. It measures shapes. It can be used in our game. Divide. Tama naman. 6, 7, 8. Very good. This is both. Yan. This is both. Kasi pareho sa perimeter at area. Sukat. Ang inipinag, uh, sinasagot natin. So measure shape. Sinasusukat natin ang mga, mga polygon or yung shape. It can be used in the, tama naman. Pagka naghahanap ka ng uh, pang-cover sa, sa bahay ninyo ng, sa, ng sahig. So, you will be thinking, so, you will be using your skill about area. Paano kung maglalagay ka ng lay sa project mo? So, you will be uh, thinking about, you will go back to your lesson, to our lesson about perimeter. So, try natin yung number, ito, yung assessment. True or false? Then, this will be the last and then we will move on to the lesson 2 of that module. A perimeter refers to the distance around a closed figure. Is that true or false? Number 1. Is that true or false? A perimeter refers to the distance around a closed figure. Hmm. Anong sagot? Is it true or false? Hmm. Very good sa mga sumagot ng both. Uh, dito na tayo sa assessment. Last activity for our lesson number one. Takihan ko pa. Yan. Anong sagot sa one? Is it true or false? Oh, Ayla May, Nigel, Angelo, Owen, Ayla, Ronjo, Angelo, Dave, and Angelo Bencamino. Sabi nila, true. Okay. A perimeter refers to the distance around the close figure. Tama, this is true. How about an area is expressed in square units? An area is expressed in square units. Number two, what is that? Is that true or false? Number two, may sagot agad si Angelo. Altea, lahat, nasagutan niya na. Angelo, okay, sige. Carl, Angela, Ethan, Hennessy, Carl, Ronjo, tama. So, a space is... An area is expressed in square unit. This is true also. Number three, a space or region occupied by closed figure is called area. Ah, is it true or false? May nakita na akong sagot eh. Sagotin ko na yung number three ah. This is true. Number four, a perimeter is expressed in units. Hmm. Kasi yung... yung, yung Yung area, iba. So, nabigay na ako ng clue. Tama to This is true also. So, pag area, square units, hindi units lang. Naintindihan? So, number five, the sum of the length of the sides of a polygon is called area. Sige, number five, tingnan natin kung tatama kayo. Number five, ang sum ba ng length ng side ay tinatawag na area? Number five, write number at your answer. 
Number five na tayo. Okay, Angela said false. Ah, commented false. Ethan, Angela, Paula. Okay, Benedict. Ah, number four pa lang si Benedict. Okay, sige. Number five, tama kayong mga sumasagot ng false. Kayo ay tama. Ano, what, would, what do you think would make this sentence correct? What should we change? Anong word ang tatanggalin natin and we will be uh, change it to, into another word to make that sentence correct. So, ano ang tatanggalin mong salita to make it true? Hmm, may may follow-up questions ba ako? May follow-up question ako. What will you make, what, what word in that sentence at number five will you remove and and change into another word to make the statement true. Hala? Anong tatanggalin nyo? Carl Jeffrey? Yes, ano yan? Okay. Sum to multiply? Hmm? The sum of the length of the size of a polygon is area. Okay. Sabi ni Rael. Oh, ba't binura? Okay. Nagbura pa eh. So, ito lang. Tanggalin na lang ang tingin sa litang area. And then, we will change it into perimeter. Kasi, ibig sabihin, because the sum of the length of the size of a polygon is what we call perimeter. So, area to perimeter. Ayun lang naman. So, let's move on to our next day. So, so titignan nyo lang. So, when we say conversion, gaano kalaki ang kasukat niya, niyang sukat, okay. how many of that, for example, how many of meter, how many one meter, I don't know, how many centimeter are there in one meter, for example. So, titignan natin yung, kung ano yung katumbas niyang sukat. So, if you will be looking at the conversion table, so lesson 2 na tayo mga anak ha. Sige nga, comment 1 kung nakikinig pa at nakakasunod kay teacher. Comment 1 nga kung tapos na at naintindihan na yung lesson number 1. Area of perimeter. Ano yan, Carl Jeffries? Ah, dali. Comment 1 nga po. So that I can proceed to the next lesson. Naintindihan ba yung lesson number one? Okay, salamat kay Samantha, kay Ayla, kay Nigel, kay Owen, kay Ayla, Sebastian, kay Ronjo, Angela, Samantha, Angelo, Carl Jeffrey, Ronjo, Samantha Janice, Christian Nul, Angela Paula. Okay. Sige, salamat, salamat sa inyong pagtugon. So we'll move on the next lesson which is about converting square centimeter to square meters or vice versa, o kabaligtaran lang. So, titignan lang natin yung kasukat. So, if you will be looking at a ruler or a meter, meter stick, there will be, if, if you have 1 meter, the equivalent centimeter is 100 centimeter. 100 centimeter. So, kapag ka sinasabing sa hindi, kung nakinig kayo kanila sa square, so you will just multiply it. You will multi multiply the number by itself according to the number this one. For example, 5 yan. And then square to. Ibig sabihin yan, you will just multiply 5 twice. So, 5 times 5 is 25. So, ibig sabihin nito, mumultiply mo lang ng by itself, ng dalawang beses. So, number na, ito yung tinatawag kasi itong base. Ito, exponent ito. But, when we took it, saan galing yan? Doon sa square units na nakuha natin sa square. For example. So, kung titignan natin yung conversion table, 1 meter, ang equivalent niya into 100, in, ang, ang equivalent niya sa centimeter is 100 centimeter. So, if we, if we will be squaring 1 meter, and then, i-square din natin yung 
para magkaroon tayo ng 1 square meter, ni square din natin yung 100 centimeter. So, meaning, 1 square meter is 100 times 100. And that would be square centimeter. So, ang equivalent ng square meter is, ano yung 100 times 100? 100 times 100. Naalala kung paano magmultiply? Count the number of zero. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then, multiply the ng zero. 1 times 1. And that is 10,000. Meaning, there are 10,000 square centimeters if you have 1 square meter. For example, we will try to draw it. So, kasi sa area yan, di ba? Square unit. If we, will, if we will try to draw it. So, ito yung square. It is ito. Gawin kong mala square talaga. If we will try to draw it. Mm -hmm. This is 100 cm. And this is 100 cm. When we try to multiply it, if we will multiply it, we will get 10,000. Hindi lang 10,000, dapat 10,000 square centimeter. Tindihan? So, I will just try to ask you, ano yung mas malaki? Yung meter ba o yung centimeter? Ano yung mas malaki between meter and centimeter? Anong mas malaki? Dali. I'm not asking you, anong mas malaki? 1 meter ba o 100 cm? Hindi. I'm asking you, sa pagsukat, sa ruler, kapag ka may 1 meter ka at may 1 cm ka, anong mas malaki? Ah, ready? Okay, sabi ni Ayla, meter daw. Nigel, meter daw. Okay, 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 okay. Siyempre, meter, kasi tinignan nyo yung conversion nila. Meron kang 1 meter pa lang. On the other hand, look at the centimeter. 100 na. Ibig sabihin, mas maraming cm sa isang meter. Ibig sabihin, malaki yung meter. So, you have to have 100 cm to be able to have 1 meter. Gets? So, kapag ka nagko-convert tayo, matatandaan nyo lang, ano bang gagawin natin? Palalakihin ba natin? O paliliitin natin? So, yun ang tandaan natin, ha? Pag nagko-convert. So, if we will try to convert a square centimeter into meter, for example, ano yung nangyayari? Liliit ba? Lalaki? We will convert centimeter to meter. Liliit ba? Lalaki? Ah, ano? Kukonvert tayo. Centimeter, meter. Liliit o lalaki? For example, sige, magbigay si Tisha ng example. Ha? If we will try to uh, change 10 cm. Oh, like, gawin ko na yung square cm. Ha? Uh, 10,000 square cm. We will change it into meter. Liliit ba? Lalaki. Ha? Punta tayo sa malinaw-linaw. Parang point lang yan. 10,000 square cm is equivalent to how many meter? Square or square meter. Liliit ba yung square meter o lalaki? Alam nyo na, mas malaki yung meter sa centimeter, di ba? O? Lalaki ba? Square meter. Meter. Hmm, nice. Yeah, tama, liliit. Kasi mas malaki yung square meter kumpara sa square centimeter. Kayo ha? O. Oh. Kung i-change lang natin to, sa so nakakita na natin ito o. Oh. So, on the other hand, yung 10,000 centimeters or square centimeter is only one square meter. So, paano kapag meron naman kayong 10 square meter? O, oh, pag gagawin yung square centimeter, ano mangyayari? Lalaki ba yung number mo ay liliit o liliit? 
Oh. Malaki ba yung number na makukuha mo? Or maliit kapag ka square centimeter na ang kukunin natin? From meter, square, o square meter, ha? Lalaki ba o liniit? Hmm, hindi it daw. Hindi na tayo lumaki, ha? Last time, 30 tayo, ha? Mabuta yung 35, naging 40 tayo. Ngayon, tapos na ako sa lesson 2, ha? Malapit na ka matapos. 24 pa lang tayo. O, lalaki. Kasi mas maraming cm, mas maraming square centimeter if we will be having this. So, if we will try to observe the operation to be able to, to get the conversion, anong gagamitin natin? So, tingnan natin. I-erase, erase ka to, ha? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, alam na natin ha, kapag ka meron kang 1, niyan magbabago, 1 square meter is equal to 10,000 square centimeter. Sa nakuha, that's 100 times 100. Pilihan? So, if you will have this one, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. itan ko para makita nyo. Dean and Jerem are busy cleaning the playground of Longo School Elementary School. If the area of school is 640 square centimeter, what is its equivalent in square meters? So, kakarating na ninyo. Kasi maliliit yung square centimeter. So, gusto na lang nila paontiin ito. So, ano gagawin natin? 640,000 square cm. How many square Meter. So, yun yung nga hanapin natin. Diba? So, this problem would only ask us how many square meter are there in the given uh, measurement na 640 square centimeter. Ang alam lang natin ay 1 square meter is equivalent to 10,000 square man, tulang lang, cm. So, anong gagawin mo? Sabi natin, alam natin, kapag ka gagawing cm, liliit, ay dadami. Kapag ka gagawing meter, la liliit siya. So, what would be better to use? Meron ka ng 600 square meter. 640,000 square meters. Ah, cm pala, sorry. Titin na natin yung equivalent nito. Anong pwede natin gawin? So, doon tayo sa malinaw. What operation is the best to use to be able to get how many square meter are there in 640,000 meters? Ah! 640,000 square centimeter. Ano yung ito na ako ha? So, ilang square meter. So, Anong gagawin natin? Mag-a-add ba tayo? Mag-subtract? Mag Mag-multiply? Mag-divide? Okay. So, sabi ni Nigel, mag-divide sa 100. Bakit sa 100? Eh, ang alam natin conversion, 1 square meter is equal to 1,000 square centimeter. Bakit i-divide sa 100, Nigel? Yung conversion ang tignan mo, conversion po ang tignan, Balikan natin ha. 1 square meter is equal to 10,000 square centimeter. So, bakit i-divide sa 100? So, that, dun yun sa 1 meter equals to 100. Eh, hindi naman yan eh. We are really, we are uh, talking about area dito. So, yan, area yan. So, 100, 100. So, ito. So, that is a dimension of a particular space. Ano yan? Sukat yan. Area yan, mga anak. Kaya, if you have square centimeter, so that is two-dimension quantity. Kaya, ang sagot nyo dapat ay square meter din. Square centimeter din. Hindi pwedeng 100 ang conversion, di ba? Square meter is equal to, one square meter is equal to 10,000 square centimeter. 
So, tama ka naman, magdi-divide, pero hindi sa 100. Yan, i-divide sa, sa 10,000. Very good sa mga nag-comment ng i-divide sa 10,000. Oh, as 6 per centimeter na to, Nigel, ha? So, divide mo to sa 1,000. So, divide mo lang to. So, paano mag-divide? So, doon tayo sa malinaw-linaw, ha? Malinaw-linaw ni teacher. Ang gulo ng tulad ni teacher, no? Essential na kayo, ha? May hirap mag-sulat sa computer, eh. So, ano nga? 640,000 square cm. Gagawin natin cent, uh, meter, square meter. Alam natin, merong 1, ay 10,000 square centimeter sa isang 1 square meter. So, ito. Divide mo lang ito sa 10,000. So, paano mag-divide? Di ba may cancel-cancel? Doon ka sa divisor. Anong divisor natin doon? 10,000. Ilang zero meron sa 10,000? Ay, hindi. Ilang zero ang may katapat. May kapartner doon sa 640,000. ,000. So, apat din, di ba? Cancel mo to. Cancel mo to. Cancel mo tong zero to. Cancel mo tong zero na to. Cancel mo tong zero to. Cancel mo tong zero na to. So, anong natira? 64. So, therefore, there will be 64 is square meter in 640,000 square centimeter. Gets na? Sige nga, comment number 5, kung naiintindihan. O, di divide. Bakit 640, di divide sa 100? Hindi sa rules. We are talking about square meter dito, square centimeter. So, dapat, ang conversion mo, 1 meter square. 1 square meter is equal to 10,000 square centimeter. So, ang sagot ay 64 square meter. Gets na? So, paano naman kung balikta rin natin? Vice versa nga yung lesson natin. Eh. Vice versa yan. Balikta din natin. Paano kapag ang binigay na ay 64 square centimeter? Ay, square meter. Maliit? papalaki. Ay, malaki, papalit pa rin. Malaki yung meter, di ba? Yung sukat na meter. O square meter. So, 64. Hmm. 64 square meter. Kaano naman ka na kayon? Kung hindi natin alam yung 640,000, for example, ilang square cm yun? O cm2. Hmm. Ay, best na magdi-divide tayo. Dahil mas maraming kailangan mong number, mas maliliit, so dadami. So, anong kabig, opposite operation ng division? So, anong gagawin, children? To be able to get, uh, to be able to, uh, to convert square meter to square centimeter. Anong gagawin natin? Hmm, thank you sa pag, pag, uh, pag respond. So, anong gagawin na natin? Balik na rin lang natin. Ano bang, ano bang uh, opposite operation ng division? Ha? So then? Ano? Bakit 1,000? 10,000! Ay, ang kulit! 10,000! Ang kulit, ha? Paulit-ulit si Tisha. Hindi 100, hindi 1,000. It's 10,000. Saan nakuha yung 10,000? Kasi square meter, so 1, para ma-multiply mo yung 100. Nag nagsimula tayo sa 1 meter is equal to 100 cm. Paano kapag in-square na natin? Diba? Doon ako nagsimula, hindi niya pala natatangan. So, square natin to. Ano ibig sabihin ng square? Mumultiply mo ba itself? So, 100 cm square. Ibig sabihin yan, 1 meter times 1 meter 
100 cm times 100 cm. So, this is still 1. 1, kaya lang is square na kasi dalawa yun. Then, 100 times 100, ilang 0? 1, 2, 3, 4. Yung nan 0, 1 times 1, 1 din. Apat na 0, akabitan, a-affix as many zeros are there in the product. Apat na 0, kaya 10,000 is square cm. So, eto, hindi yan magbabago mga anak, huwag niyong babaguhin. 1 square meter is equal to 10,000 square centimeter. So, ang opposite operation ng division, if we will be uh, converting square cm to square uh, meter, magdi-divide tayo. On the other hand, kapag yung square meter naman, we will be changing it into square centimeter dahil mas maliit yung square cm. So, dadami dapat yung number na ilalagay mo dito, mas malaki. So, alam natin, ang 1 square meter is equal to 10,000 square cm. So, multiply lang. 64 times 10,000. So, we will be getting your first answer kanina. Yung kaninang binigay sa given, sa given sa question sa problem natin. So, the answer is 640 thousand is square cm. Hindi Isa pa. Mm -hmm, Mag-try tayo ito. Oh. 10,000. O, oh, yan yan. Yun yun. Yan yung uh, discussion ni teacher kanina. Mm. Divide. This is how we will do it. Alam natin, 1 square meter is equal to 10,000 square uh, CM. So, pagka, pagka ginawa nung ganito, 640,000 square CM, saan yung magkaparehas? Ito, hindi ko pwede, diba? So, ito yan. Ito yung dito. Diba? Ganyan mag-convert. Sa pero malilito ka lang eh. Tatandaan mo na lang, pagka ganyan ang gawa, manilito ka lang. Ako, no, manilito ako ng bata ako pagka ganyan, eh, puro sa akin. Pero na, natutunan ko, pagka square meter, niliit siya. Mag-divide ako. Pagka square centimeter ang nawawala. Ibig sabihin, dadami siya. Kasi mas marami. Mas malaki yung sukat ng meter, eh. Diba? So, kapag kinonvert mo siya, pinalitan, parang barya yan, eh. Diba? Parehong magkapareha sila, magkapareha sila ng amount, for example, parang barya, meron kang 100 pieces ng 1 peso coin. It's just like 100 peso bill. Diba? Ito, maliliit na denomination ng pera, ito, malalaki. So, if we will be change it, dadami yung bilang ng pieces ng piso mo. Kaya kapag ka nagpapalit ka naman, papalit nga pa sa tindahan, pabuo. So, naging isang piraso na lang, 100 peso bill, di ba? So, it's just like meter and square meter, square cm and meter. Alam natin na mas magliit na quantity yung cm. Malaki yung meter. Kaya pag dinobol mo pa, hindi mangyayaring lalaki yung cm square. It's still meter square mas malaki sa square centimeter. Hindi ha? At it's a fact, hindi mababago yan. 10,000 square cm is equal to only 1 square meter. Kaya, kung, mag, kung ito ang nawawala at ito ang binigay cm, magdi-divide ka. Divide. Ito ang nawawala. Pero pag yung cm square naman ang nawawala at ang binigay ay square meter, all you have to do is to multiply. Naintindihan na? Kasi kapag ka ganyan pa yung way of solving mo, malilito ka pa. Hmm, sige. I'm giving you chance yung mga ano ha. O, ito, try natin ito kung hindi na si teacher. Okay. O, puro square cm, itong first three. Square cm, square cm muna ang binigay. Then you will change it or convert it into square meter. So, from 1 to 3, anong gagawin natin? Divide or multiply? Divide ba o multiply? We are at activity. What's more na yan, ha? 
Are we going to divide or multiply? Square centimeter, you will change it into square meter. Divide or multiply? Okay, nga. If you really, if you are uh, focusing attention in my instruction, oh, sabi ni Ayla magdi-divide daw. Oo, oh, oh, magdi-divide. Tama si Ayla kasi mas maliit yung square cm. Then palalakin mo. So, uunti yung number na isusulat mo dito. Hindi na 230 square centimeter. So, to what number do we will divide it? Into 10,000, ha? So, 230,000, divide mo sa 10,000, cancel lang ng partner, ha? May partner bang zero ng 10,000 dito sa taas? Meron. May partner ba si zero dito? Meron. Eto, 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 at eto. So, anong natira? 23. So, ibig sabihin, 230,000 square centimeter is equal to 23 square meter. Hindihan? So, how about number 2? Divide na kasi square centimeter into square meter. Nung divide ka. Divide, division ng operation sa 1, 2, 3. So, ang saka sa number 2? Number 40 square centimeter is equal to 1 square meter. Number 2 na tayo, Ayla. Number 2. Hmm, tama. Hennessy, mag-divide. So, ano di-divide mo? Square centimeter. 10,000. Mm -hmm. Sabi ni Ayla, 4 square meter daw. Sino pang may ibang sagot? Wala na bang ibang sasagot kundi si Ayla? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ayla, uli yun eh. Iba, iba naman. Altigia, sabi niya, 4 square meter. Tama, sige, nakuha na ako yung gano'n. Kasi ito lang, oh, diba? Divide mo lang. So, 40,000 divided by 10,000. Apat ang zero, apat ang zero. So, lahat tatanggalin niya. Diba? So, ang natira ko, sagot, 4 square meter. So, ito, sa 90 square centimeter, ilang square meter meron? Number 3. Number 3 na tayo. Hmm. Square CM ba rin yan? Turn into square meter. So, hindi it. Dapat ang number. Number 3. Number 3 na tayo. Okay. Si Ayla. Bilis ang internet siguro ni Ayla. Kaya nakakasunod sa akin. So, number 3. Tama si Ayla. Divide mo lang din. 90,000 divided by 10,000. Apat din ang zero ng 10,000. Ganun din sa 90,000. Kaya, natira yung 9 over 1. Ibig sabihin ng 9 over 1, over 1 mga anak. Tanggalin mo na lang yan. Ginawa lang na 9 over sa isa. Di 9 lang. 9 square meters. So, look at number 4 and 5. Square meter na, ha? Meter. Paniliitin mo. Baba, kumbaga, parang babaryahan mo ng 50 pesos. So, dapat dadami. So, we will be multiplying. Ano yung multiply? 10,000. So, how many square centimeter are there in 5 square meter? Sagot. Number 4 na tayo. 4. Number 4. Square centimeter na ngayon. From square meter, he will turn it into square centimeter. Sabi niya, Cyrus, 50,000 square centimeter daw. Benedict, bakit 5,000 square meter? Ay, 5 pala. Yun yung isa-change natin. Babarihan natin, kaya dapat dadami. So, tama. Angela Buen Camino, Altea. Parang, di ba sabi siya magmumultiply? Multiply ka kasi... Maliit yung, malaki yung meter eh. Square meter, mas malaki yan sa square centimeter. Kaya dapat dadami. So, multiply. 5 times 10,000. Dali. Di 50,000. 50,000 ano? Square cm. Ganun din sa 5. How many square centimeter are there in 6 square meter? Hmm, tagot. Number 5.
Number five na tayo. Five. How many square centimeters are there in six square meters? Hindi naman pag maliit yung number eh. Pag maliit yung quantity, yung measurement. Diba? Yung, num yung di number lang na. Kasi may mga maliit naman yung number. Kasi number, ano siya, square meter. Malaki yung sukat. So, sagot, multiply lang din. 6,000, ah, 6 times 10,000. So, 6 times 10,000. 60,000, di ba? Hindi lang 60,000, 60,000 square cm. Gets na ba? Ah, let's have another example. Let's have another activity. Yung ko yan, medyo matagal yan. Okay, so yun na lang para matututo ma ma kayo. Complete the table. So, square centimeter, pag yung square centimeter lang nawawala, diba? Sabi sa inyo, pag change into square meter, that's division. Square meter to cm, that's multiplication. Hmm. Divide to 10,000. Divide to ten, uh, multiply to 10,000. You will get the correct answer if you use that one. So, cm, square cm to, walang square meter. So, anong gagawin? So, what's the missing number? What would be written? Anong gagawin? Gagawin mong square meter. So, oh, anong sagot? Hmm. Wala dito, oh. 75,000 square meters. Uh, 75,000, tama. 75,000 square centimeters. How many square meter are there? Okay. Okay. 7.5. O, diba may 0.5 na tayo? Kasi, paano yan, teacher? O, ganito yan. Decimal naman na, naturo naman natin yung decimal, diba? So, 75,000 divided by 10,000. So, apat dito. Tatlo lang dito. Kaya tatlo lang din matatanggal mo. So, 75 divided by 10. So, paano yun? E, divide mo. 75 divided by 10. 75 divided by 10, 7. 7 times 10, 70. 75 minus 75. 5 divided by 10, hindi na pwede. Kaya, Magdi-decimal point ka na dito, decimal point, magdadagdag ka na ng isa dito. Ang zero. Kasi, hindi na kasha. 50 divided by 10, that's 5. Kaya, 7.5 na. 7.5 square meter. Gets? So, ito. 8 square meter ang meron, walang square centimeter. So, what's the missing number? What's the missing number? 8, 6 square meter ang binigay. Ilang square centimeter ang hahanapin? 8 na tayo. 8. Eight. 8 square meter na. Okay. Si Ayla talaga. Ang bilis, no? Natama si Ayla. Si Ayla... 80,000 daw. Kasi, 8 times, multiply ka lang pagpapunta dito sa kaliwa eh. Multiply. Pagpapunta dito, divide. Diba? Oh. So, this is 80,000. Kasi, 8 times 10,000, 80,000. 80,000 square cm. Oh. Dito naman, from square centimeter going to 6 square meter, kaya magdi-divide tayo. So, what is the answer? 60,000 square meter how many square me ah, 60,000 square centimeter, how many square meter are there? Oh, tama. Sa mga sumasagot ng 80,000 square cm, tama. And 60,000 ngayon, turn into square meter. What would that be? Anong sagot? Okay, may nakitot. Ang, ang bilis na ganyan ay ano, katawa. 
So, sagot ay 6,000 divided by 10,000 mo lang. 6,000, 60,000 pala, divide mo lang sa 10,000. Kahit di ka na nga mag-ganan eh. Divide into 10,000. Apat ang 0, apat ang 0. So, pwede, pwede. Lahat ang 0 ay tanggalin. So, 60 divided by 1. So, 6 square meter. So, 3 square meter naman turn into square centimeter. Kaya mag-multiply, di ba? Pagot. How many square centimeter are there in 3 square meters? Sagot. Square centimeter. Square meter pala. Gagawin square centimeter. So, dadami. Okay. 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 Hennessy, Ayla, Cardonjo, Benedict, Ayla Ole, Angelo. Tama. So, the answer is 60, uh, 30,000. Kasi 3 times 10,000 is 30,000. Ito naman. 54,000 divided by... I turn into square meters. Kaya mag-divide. 54,000 divided by 10,000. What's the answer? Fifty-four thousand. Paano i-divide? Anong sagot? How many square meter are there? Any fifty-four square centimeter? Okay. Benedict, Ayla, Ben Camino, Carl Rondo. 5.4. Tingnan natin kung tama sila. As sabi natin, 54,000 gagawing square centimeter, square meter, kaya mag-divide. Parang kagadi lang yung 7.5, di ba? 10,000. Sa dalawa, sa dalawa, isa pa. So, 54 divided by 10. 54 divided by 10. Ilang 10 meron sa 54, lima. 15. 5 times 10, 15. Minus 4. Hindi ka na pwedeng mag-divide kasi mas mababa na sa divisor kaya magdagdag ka. Lagyan mo ng decimal point at lagyan mo ito ng 0. Baba mo ngayon ng 0 to make it 30. So, 4 divided by 10 is 4. So, 4 times 10, 40. So, that's the answer. 5.4 square meter. So, how about 4,000? Ay, 40,000. What would that be in first meters? 40,000. What would that be in square meters? Okay, Benedict si yan. Tama? Okay, tama. Ang sagot dyan ay multiply bang, di ba? Into 10,000. Kaya ang sagot dyan ay divide pala. Divide pala din pala. Divide into 10,000. So that would be 4 square meter. Ito naman. Turning into square centimeter, so we will just, ano, what ang gagawin natin? So get the answer. How many square centimeter are there is in 10 square meter? And how many square centimeter are there in 9 square centimeter? Square meter. Sagot sa 9 and, sa 10 and 9, dalawang sunog. Hmm? Yan ni Dick, may sagot na siya agad. Mm-hmm, Ayla. Iba pa. Angelo Buencamino, Benedict Zian, Aitea. Okay, so, kasi tin, multiply mo lang, di ba? Sa 10,000. Para makuha mo papunta dito. So, that's 100,000. Tama. How about the 9 square meter? Turn it into square centimeter. Just like what we did uh, earlier. Multiply lang din. So, si answer. Number, yung 9 na. 9. Okay, tama si Ayla. 90,000. Si multiply lang, di ba? So, 9 times 10,000 would give you 90,000. So, Mag-aral ng mabuti. Pasensya na hindi ako nakapag-upload ng quiz kahapon. Kasi ang dami ko lang nilagamitin. Tapos kasi akong module. 
para sa aming course. So, hindi ko na harap yung quizzes natin. So, maaasahan ko ba na gagawin niyo yung quizzes niyo pag sagot niyo sa next week? Magkita pa naman tayo next week, di ba? That would be the last week of our third quarter. Naintindihan na ba? So, uh, nakakapag ganun ba? Sige. Ano uh, ba tawag doon? Ano bang number pa? Ipapapress ko sa inyo. Okay, press number 2 kung naiintindihan yung dalawang lesson. Press 2 kung naiintindihan yung dalawang lesson. Okay, salamat Nigel, Ayla, Benedict, Sebastian, Angela. Hindi na tayo naging 40 ha, 26 lang nanood ha. Hmm, 26, salamat sa mga nag aattend So, to wrap it up, balikan natin yung what I have learned. Dito, dito pa naman. Okay. 10,000 square centimeter is equal to how many? May sasagutan din pala, no? So, this is activity. Wala palang work. So, ulit. How many square centimeter are there in one square meter? Comment the question. Ay, the answer. How many square centimeter are there in one square meter? City, thank you so much, ha? Hindi na natin sagutin yun. Kayo na magsagot niyan para sa inyong practice. Hindi kailangan sagutin lahat iti siya sa tutorial kasi hindi na kayo matututulan na kayo sasagutin. Kasi, di ba, you cannot understand a scale kung hindi nyo gagawin, kung hindi nyo try. Oh, how many square centimeter are there? In one meter, in one square meter, nalimutan na naman. Ito, how many? Hmm. Yan yung fact, hindi na babago yan. Square centimeter are there in one square meter. Anong ten? Anong one? Anong one? Lo? Hala, 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 hala. One square meter lang? One square meter nga, ilang square centimeter yon? How many one square? How many one square meter are there? In, how many how many square centimeter are there in one square meter? Yun yung tanong ko. Okay, tingnan nga. May nakita na akong isa. How about the how about the others? How about um, sa iba? Iba medyo mabilis lang yung lesson natin. Mabilis lang lesson natin talaga ng lesson natin. The module na yun. May nakita na akong dalawa. Asan ba kaya yung iba? Ilang square centimeter are there? How many square centimeter are there in one square meter? Yun ang tanong ko. Jaime ka, Nicole Manabat? Bakit kain lang? Okay. Sige, salamat sa mga tama. Ang tamang sagot ay 10,000 square centimeter. Kaya kung, kung papalitan mo into square meter, magdi-divide. Kung papalitan mo yung square centimeter, para square meter, magmumultiply. Natandaan yan, ha? So, we are about to end our tutorial. So, next week, wala mo ng tutorial kasi I would like to give you uh, time to uh, finish everything that you have to finish in Math Google Classroom para makompute na ang inyong uh, what do you call this? Grade for third quarter. Kung gusto magka-grade ng third quarter, anong gagawin? Gawin lahat ng gano'n. Wala dapat missing. So, I'll be posting the pupils with missing activities next week. So, this would end our uh, tutorial for today. Thank you, ha, sa inyong pagdating. Wow. Mga gustong-gustong matuto talaga. Atin lang atin, ano? Salamat, ha. Sir, tapos na kami. Wow, nice. Ayos yan. Ay. <laughs> Sir, salamat sa pag pagpapagamit ng iyong YouTube channel, ha? Next time ulit, mga third part. Okay. Next week, pahinga tayo. Okay. Salamat, salamat, Sir, ha? Ba't may pahinga? <laughs> Siyempre. Hindi, joke lang. Tama para, ano, patapos na rin ang third quarter. Time for accomplishment. Oo, oh, oh, last week na next week. Eh. Oo. Oh, oh. 
Babay na sa inyo. Maraming maraming Ay, salamat, salamat, kids. Teka lang. Salamat. Thank you sa tutorial na mga mga. Ba? Thank you kayo kay Sir. Thank you kayo kay Sir. Thank you, Sir. Happy Mother's Day sa mga mama nyo. Oo, pasalamat din sa mami ninyo. Pinapayagan kayong maghawak ng cellphone na during the weekend. Bye-bye, <laughs> sir. Thank you, thank you. Bye-bye sa inyo mga bata.